First of all, I was just eating an Oreo and I have to make sure that I don't have no black shit on my teeth. I don't. I am very excited for what's gonna happen today. And today we're feeling brand new. I got my nails done, my hair done, and bro, it got so bad that the last time I was filming and I kept looking at myself through a monitor and I'm like, girl, you are struggling over there. Remember, I get all that done in Miami, so it's been a mission and a half. It got so bad that I even cut my ends of like the red hair by my goddamn self and <gasps> the mess was real. Now, this side is shorter than this one, all uneven, all fucked up. I even had to do like a little bit of layers on this side. To make it work, when my hair lady saw me, she was like, What? What the heck did you do to yourself? I don't even know. Don't cut your hair by yourself if you don't know how to do it. Don't be like me. If Beauty by Wen Stefani just came out with your blushes, and I told you guys that I was gonna pick up every single shade so I can show you how they look on the face, of course. We're gonna do some swatches, a little bit of comparisons, and to be honest with you, give be killing it with the products. Like, I love everything I have tried from them so far. I was seriously waiting for them to come out with blushes with the same formula of her powder bronzer this one down here because it's just so beautiful here you have filling cheeky clean amplifying blush duo it is $28 each made in Italy a duo of amped up top free blushes in silky cyan and vibrant radiant finishes that can be worn alone or layered to give your cheeks a fresh burst of color I like this little packaging chrome reflect the situation. You would think that she was gonna keep her packaging all looking the same like most of the brands be doing, but they're not. This one, it is different from her contour bronzer duo. See how the front covers, they're not the same. Look, and I honestly like this one a little bit more than this one, just because it looks more luxe. And it's available in six shades, which I have them all right here in front of me. And I don't know where to start from. I don't know what shade I should show you first, which I think I'm just going to go with her flow right here. Like I'm going to start with the first shade and then boom. And I'm going to have to put my makeup on and off and at least this area right here, like fix it about three times. If I show you one in each side of the face, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to start with ex-girlfriend, which is a bright pink. I think this is going to be one of my favorite shades. And yes, it got the GIF signature scent that I love so freaking much. It literally smells like baby. And of course, I'm going to be comparing it with Attention Seeker from One Size Beauty because how can we not? This is given right here. So I want to see if they have the same undertones. But first, let's see how the formula feels, how they swatch. This top shirt right here, it is a sheer satin that is going to add luminosity and dimension. Wow, how? Stunning it looks. Look at that texture. And it doesn't really have sparkles, glitter, none of that. It is more of a glowy satin situation. And then this one right here, it is a natural radiant to pump up the vibrancy. Mmm, how yummy that looks what this is nice if you are familiar with her powder bronzer down here this is the same stunning soft smooth buttery velvety formulation and i'm so happy for that i'm gonna be using the scott barnes 64 brush and first i'm gonna start with the matte shade on here and this is picking up way too much i have about that much and i'm gonna start right here at the bottom of my cheekbones sweeping it up towards my temples and this is gonna give me a lifted look but can we appreciate how pigmented it is wow look how good it's looking 
and that was only a little bit so a little goes a long way not that i need to because to me this is more than enough the pigmentation is insane but i am gonna pick up a little bit more of the bottom shade the same that i was just using and i'm going to slightly apply a little tiny bit more yes this is the top shade and i mean it's speaking for itself just look at this it's giving me the perfect amount of dimension and i love that it's a solid straight up glowy satin shade so it's giving me all the illumination all the glow all the shine with a freaking sparkles and glitter all over my face and i really appreciate that this one is lasting love it is a coral pink i'm gonna use the same brush for all the shades i'm just gonna wipe it down in between same application first the bottom right here at the bottom of my cheek wow it is impressive how it's blending like butter no blotchiness it doesn't get patchy you definitely don't need a lot and i'm obsessed over how good the bottom shade looks down here for like the lifting effect and then the shade on top it's giving us all the healthiness all the glow all the pop all the mm. now we're gonna pick up a little bit of this one And you see how it's mistake proof this is gonna be pure perfection for beginners i do see the coral the pink but i also see a little bit of gold in here lasting love this shade's gonna look really nice on dark skin complexions here you have ex-girlfriend and lasting love side by side i'm loving both of them this one it's definitely a blue tone pink it looks a little bit more purple in person and this one looks a little bit more pink but with a little bit more coral this one is stars aligned a peachy beige i'm back i already removed the first two blushes and babe if you think that my concealer or anything in my face right now looks a little weird stop it we're recycling makeup over here okay i'm not gonna take everything off to do it again no way so we already know that when it comes to the formula chef kiss it's beautiful we love it and everything about it is juice on point we have four more blushes so now i'm just gonna get to work and show you how they look on the face with less talking we are getting the best out of these two colors i see the peach but i also get a little bit of the beige and thank god it doesn't look orange and if you apply a little bit less than this you will see more of the beige and less of the peachy which is amazing and then now let's see what's up with this shade let me show you how much i have on my brush before i put it on the face that's that and boom <sighs> A minute of silence what oh my gosh this shade I love it a lot more than what I thought I was gonna love it look at this just I am not even being extra it is pure perfection Oof. it is given the perfect highlighter and blush all together like when the light it's not hitting it you see blush but when the light hits it boom look at the highlighter this one is crushed on you it is a warm berry if you know me you know that i'm not the biggest fan of purple berry blushes like i really personally just don't like them i like them on everybody but not on me this shade it's gonna look so sexy on deep skin tones mm. also if you do like this type of warm plumpy berry type of blushes you're gonna love it 
And this shade right here, it's going to give it all for false. I mean, tell me something about this. Hello. The only thing is that it did get a little patchy, especially this bottom shade right here. But I do want you to have in mind that this type of shades, they're very complicated to formulate. So you have to blend them a little bit more. You have to apply less, have a little bit more patience. It didn't happen to me with the first three shades at all. They blended like straight up butter, like they glide on my skin. But this one, they gave me a little bit of issue. It got a little blotchy. It wasn't hard to fix though. So I just want you to keep that in mind when you're picking up the shades you want. Let me go take them off and I'll be back. I swear what I'll be doing for y'all. I love you guys. This one, it's Honeymoon Face. It is a bright lavender. If you love purple and you've been looking for a true two color purple blush, here you have it. I don't think it gets more purple and lavender than this. We're gonna have to compare this one with the new one from House Labs. Here I have them. Let me put them side by side. Okay, so this right here looks, but not really. Mm -mm. This is brighter and lighter than the bottom shade and then the top shade It's lighter than this one, but let me swatch really really quick Boom. Mm -mm. They're not the same shades This is house labs and gif. I mean maybe when I mix this too it will get closer to the house labs because it won't be so light or so deep but nope they're not the same shades though but again the question is on the face are we really gonna be able to know which one it's which one i don't think so same thing i started with the bottom shade and I am loving the way it looks right here. And I blend it upwards. This is cute. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the glowy shade. And I'm gonna apply right here on the apples on my cheeks. Ooh, this is bright. Wait. I don't know how I feel about this shade. I don't like the way it looks right here, too close to my pore area. This is just way too light, so it is making my texture and my pores look a little off, in my opinion. What do you think from far? Walking quick. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See, like I like the shade right here, the matte, but then after I apply the one on top, it's like, wow, wait, calm down, hold up. You're way too much. You're going way too fast. You get what I'm saying? Like it was just too much drama. It's too extra. I don't know. I like it. But I wasn't expecting it to be this light and this bright. So maybe if I would have applied a little bit less and more right here, like on the highest points of my cheekbones, like if I was applying hot lighter, because bro, look how bright it is. This is literally like a bright freaking lavender hot lighter, straight up. So not too much as blush and it is emphasizing my texture and it's making my pores look super weird i do like the definition of these two shades together because you see the depth of the one down here and then the illumination of the one on top but again you have to make sure that you don't apply too much and the next time i use this one i'm not gonna go in with a fluffy big brush i'm gonna use Something like the Serify brush from Waygash. This one right here. 
that it's gonna allow me to have more precision and then i will only apply a little bit right there but because i thought this was gonna be like the other ones i went ham and brought it all the way down here and i actually think that i apply more of this one than all the other ones because this is a lot here you have the last duo flirty talk and it is a bright coral this one it's coral but i like that it got a tiny bit of like a bright orange hit in it and out of all the ones that we put on before this one is the most set of one and delicate because i had to build it up a little bit more than the other ones to get it to look like this see i built it up like three times and look at it i love this shade so if you don't like too much blush and you don't like it too bold and you don't like all the pigmentation then this is the shade for you my love here you have honeymoon face and flirty talk hmm which one do you like more i don't know this one it's given and then honeymoon face it's growing on me i don't know like i told you before ah, i just stuck my freaking nail in one of the blushes it never fails we're gonna compare these two right here one size and give i already swatched them in my hand these three swatches are from attention seeker right here and then the other two are from ex-girlfriend and to me they don't look the same so attention seeker from one size it's a little cooler and it got more blue undertone this one it's a little warmer and it's pulling a little bit more pink and here you have all the swatches of all the shades this one it's ex-girlfriend lasting love stars aligned crush on you honeymoon face and flirty talk all right so we officially tried all six blushes i have a mess right here in front of me mm. let me take a sip of that because my throat it is super dry and i really enjoyed these blushes a hundred a thousand percent all the shades are beautiful they're different from each other they're gonna look flattering on everybody my favorite shade it is ex-girlfriend even though i already have a lot of pink blushes similar to this one in my collection what can we do about it i'm a sucker for this type of pink and this formula is just way too good for me not to have another pink blush in my collection right that's a good point and then my second favorite shade it is flirty talk because i love the way i can work it like if i only apply a little bit it looks really soft and subtle but then i can really amp it up to get it to look really pigmented and vibrant you can also do the same thing with all the other shades because they're all buildable but they are a little bit more pigmented than this shade right here for sure but i love them all i mean when it's time for you to pick up your shades just go with the flow and go with whatever shade you like the most they're highly pigmented beginner friendly they're super easy and quick to apply and you're not really gonna fuck up because they're super blendable smooth application no patchiness no blotchiness no dragging no greedy feel the only one that gave me a little bit of a dilemma 
was the warm berry but i already told you what i think about that one they're vibrant they're popping they make the skin look healthy happy they're truly amazing for every day or for dramatic looks like this one they don't feel heavy on the skin the formulation is super lightweight and i love that they're talk free i highly recommend them i give them 10 out of 10 but like always don't forget to let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below do you like them you don't like him.